Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Well it's been a bit of a while. Uh, been busy as you know. I always say that don't I? Well I've got uh, a portable x-ray transformer for you today guys. It's um, a long tall cylindrical which I shall show you in a short while. And uh, it's not the x-ray tube um, which is inside which is normally inside of them. This of course is separate due to the federal connector on the bottom which because at the moment it's the other way around which I will show you um, of course which will connect to a x-ray head of course I've got the controller as well to show you so let's have a look right there she is she's upside down at the moment I'm going to open it up and show you inside of it this is 120 kV at 10 milliamps of power and of course here is the controller as well which of course has got a variac in it which has a milliamp setting and of course the KV so this of course controls the power power into the variac which of course will control the power of the output which will go into the transformer which of course the connectors which I'll show you in a minute comes back into it which of course will show you the kilovolts coming out of the transformer and of course this is your, your milliamps as well which of course is controlled by this this is your timer and of course you've got your energize and stop and these are your voltages which of course I was quite lucky to get the key as well which is a bit stiff but it does come out uh, so yeah come with a broken handle I just took it apart and put a bolt in it these are the connections on the side that's your main power input that's your output to the um, x-ray transformer and then of course one is your um, well to be honest with you yeah there's your it says cooker so uh, I think mine the bottom of this has only got the one well I'll have a look in a minute anyway and then of course there's another safety um, circuit it says so these two of course go to something else I've not seen these, these weren't at the scrapyard, yes I got this from the scrapyard by the way and yeah what a find alright so this will come off which of course, wow that was quick <laughs> there and then this will slide off nice piece of aluminium there and there's the transformer at the top there well at the bottom because it's the other way around 120 kV this has an inert gas inside um, flora something I can't think of what it's called now uh, so of course safe to breathe in well not too much I would presume of course that sort of gas would allow your voice, well, make your voice, go very, very low. So you'll be talking like this. <laughs> um, of course the gas is quite safe at that, but of course you wouldn't want to get an arc into the, um, into the gas as it would make it very toxic and would probably eat your flesh away. As I was told by a good friend of mine who knew a little bit more about the gas so let's pause it and I'll show the top and then we'll pull this out there we go that was quick wasn't it there's your bar Me readings of pressure of gas inside I'm actually quite sure how they bloody filled this um, I presume it well, I mean the gas the gas itself um, is very heavy anyway so you'd, they'd, they'd probably pour it in you'd see the level of it um, at the top because it's heavier than oxygen um, and of course they'd probably put the lid on I don't know how they'd do it but there's no valve to actually um, to actually install the gas into the transformer body so there's your federal connector and there's that connector I was telling you about which is on the other end of that control box now that's the ode plaque there This 100 watt LED above me is very bright. So, look at that, how easy it is. 
Right, I'll just pause it while I lift this off. And there we go. This is very rickety once it comes out, so you don't, wouldn't really want to put too much force onto it. Let's see if we can just roll it a little bit more around that way, so we can have a good look at it, shall we? Right. There's a the fan. Keep the unit cool inside, which is very nice. All aluminium. And let's see if we can just hold on. See if we can just move this around a bit more. There we go. This is your filament transformer just here. Iron core with a primary winding. And da, 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 da. this is your field of resistors here, which of course is for the sensing. Uh, which of course, oh excuse me, it goes round there. You can see a wire at the top just up there, which goes back onto here. So this is for sensing for the Kilo, oh, excuse me, kilovolt meter. And that's your federal, which goes straight onto the bottom of those pins just there. Fits nicely on there, like that. And then, of course, your winding goes all the way around, straight through down that pipe. We just get something to point with. <laughs> So, diddly dee. There's your, there's a, of course, there's a load of caps here as well. There's one, two, three, four, five, six caps at 20 kV at zero to, at zero, at point zero two microfarads each. So, of course, they're all connected at the top. It's very hard to do this whilst holding a camera. <clears throat> So of course they're all connected just there, all the way through. It's a lovely piece of um, plastic. These are um, da -da -da -da, um, some sort of nylon plastic, very nice and tough. So they all connect at the bottom just there, as you can see. See that connection on that um, copper rod, which go down onto there, look, onto these diodes, and the diodes onto the secondary of the x-ray transformer the primary wires for the core uh, for the transformer run all the way up through this tube all the way to the top of there which of course go to these pins just here <clears throat> it's extremely well made we've got copper bands there around the transformer to hold the iron core together we've got two just here to hold it against this um, outer shell. What? I don't know. And of course, another two to hold the iron core together. Now, of course, this is 5060 hertz um, transformer. It's around 240, well, 220 volts, 240 volts up to that. And of course, you get 120 DC output from it from the federal an absolute beautiful piece of kit these originally were um, wrapped in um, a cardboard sleeve like toilet roll which I took off because I wanted to look at them I thought they were very nice so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this yet due to it running on a gas and that inert gas to be honest with you I don't really want to mess around with it it is safe but it isn't to me if you understand because um, I'm quite wary about gases if I'm honest with you so yeah <clears throat> absolute lovely piece of kit extremely well made they don't make them like this anymore if I'm honest with you it's a very old one I would probably say 80s 80s transformer I mean the one I had um, the one that I had in a previous video going back about three four years ago had um, a foot an American football like transformer at the bottom an American transformer looking transformer at the top and then of course they connected to a massive big um, x-ray tube 
because it was a little bit taller than that. I'll probably say there's another foot on top of that, um, the transformer housing there, the, the height of it. And um, it was very, very basic, very basic indeed. Because the, all the control other parts of it, you see, were due to this being the ha the other one due to it being the transformer and the um, tube. The all the other like, bits like sensing and everything else just came out the top of one of these, and all the control gear to another unit like this. Um, but uh, there was no there was no um, capacitors in it or anything. It was just all AC, but really well put together. Lovely thing. So check that out guys. So I thought I'd share that with you. I know you guys wanted to see that because I wanted to see inside of it, so I'm sure you guys wanted to see inside of it. Um anything else new? I'm just trying to think if there's anything else new guys to tell you. I've had a bit of a clean up in here. As you notice, a little bit more room. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> there used to be a big massive unit here which I've took out because to be honest with you apart from that being there my walkway was just I was just tripping over things that's going soon because that's just um, full of man mineral oil because the transformer out of that and everything else is gone because I needed some more caps because there was two of these in it because I am building that up that is going to be built up before before the beginning of May because it's got to be working again that thing is a beast that Tesla coil and I'm hoping to get a good output from it from what I was getting before because I was getting around 14 feet arc streamers from it and I want to push it to 18 feet hopefully you never know uh, so yeah do, 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 do. any more new transformers I can't really think of there's anything else guys um yeah you have a little butchers around me old place oh yeah these are the transformers that i got out of that these are the transformers 150 kv each they are high frequency beautiful absolutely beautiful if you notice you see the iron core on these, because of due to the, these are iron core, due to these being iron core and high frequency, you wouldn't believe it, you'd think that there was, um, you'd get saturation. Well, the plates on these are so tightly squeezed together, it enables it, which I find awesome. So, no need for ferrites. Uh, but yeah, that's a big beast. Pastor in it, 150 kV, high, high cut, some serious high voltage, some diodes in there. I got those out of a transformer. Anyway, I'm blabbering on. Let's uh, let's get the end of that video sorted out and let you guys get back to doing whatever you're doing. I hope you're all well, um, and of course I'll try and bring some of the videos to you guys. Hopefully, uh, it's just a bit hectic at the moment this time of the year, but. At least I'm still here and I haven't left at YouTube, eh? Because I bet you're all thinking, no, don't leave YouTube. And some of you who really hate me are probably going, yeah, go on. Well, go yeah. off. <laughs> anyway, look after yourselves, guys. Hope you're all well. And uh, speak again.